Hey guys, my name is Z and you're watching He Miss Easy. And welcome to a new lesson for DT Timbers for the core content. And today we have 1.7 which is programmable component. And by the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe 1.7.1, the use of flowchart. 1.7.2, how to switch output on or off in relation to the input and decisions. 1.7.3, which is how to process and respond to an analog input. And 1.7.4, which is how to use simple routines to, to control output with delays, loops, and count. So check out the pain comment for all the timestamps. And we'll move on with our first one, 1.7.1, how to make use of flowcharts. And the description. A computer program is usually a set of questions with a yes or no answers. A flowchart is a way of planning a program in an easy to read diagram. So here we have a flowchart over here. A rectangular box is an instruction, so it tells the program to do something. And the diamond shaped box is a question, so the program can decide something. So from the start, it goes to turn the light off, which is a program to do something like an instruction. And to is it dark? If it's yes, then it will continue. If it's no, then it will repeat this loop over here. Then we have 1.7.2, how to switch outputs on and off in relation to inputs and decisions. And an electronic system uses a question in its program to make decisions, and it tells its output devices what to do. And when the control program detects an input, it follows the instruction to make an output happen. And it is important for a designer to know exactly what they want, to, what they want a product to do, and then break it down into a, sim a set of simple steps that can be put into a flowchart. So here's like a simple like um, feedback, like input, process, output, and feedback. And this loop that like continues for the um, that program. Then we have 1.7.3, how to read and respond to analog inputs. And here's uh, the description. Some sensors like LDR or light dependent resistor or thermistor, they give out an analog signal, meaning they can give a range of values. Their resistance goes up and down as levels or, or like temperature changes, meaning a system can be programmed to respond to different levels. And the outside light has a variable resistor that lets you change the light level at which the light turns on. And here's a nice photo over here to show an output over here and a sensor which is an input to detect the temperature. Then we have lastly controlling outputs and how to use simple routines to control outputs with delays, loops, and count. So, so for time delay, time delay is like a program instruction that says wait 10, means the program will wait for 10 seconds then go on to the next instruction. And count is a program that can be told to count, to like count how many times it gets an input and perhaps give an output with how many times it gets an input. And the feedback loop is when this sends the program back to an earlier point to do some, the same thing repeatedly. This is how a system monitors a sensor and it goes around in the loop asking the same question until the answer changes. Like as the example just now, from start to turn the light off and is it dark? If it's not dark then it has a feedback loop over here. Then this is an another feedback loop over here. And that's it for this short video for 1.7 programmable uh, components. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this and please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions or criticisms. And email me in my YouTube bio if you have any questions and I'll gladly help you out. And check out my Instagram in the description for more daily content. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe and happy learning.